Hi, my name is Cameron. I'm one of our interpreters here in the Paspahe town. This is my friend Moose here, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about Powhatan dogs. The Powhatans only had one domesticated animal, and that would have been the dog. In fact, the dog is the oldest domesticated animal in the entire globe, and it has been in the Americas and come to the Americas on multiple occasions and has been here as long as people have. Uh, the dog was domesticated about 40,000 to 20,000 years ago, and it goes with cultures all around the globe from there. The breed that the Powhatans would have been keeping here in this region, based on English descriptions, modern breeds here in the southeast, as well as paintings and archaeology, would have been the Carolina dog, the Carolina yellow dog, or also known as the American Dingo, uh, due to its appearance and its stature. Now our friend Moose at the beginning of the video, or Adamus as is his full name, which is also the Powhatan word for dog, um, he is not a Carolina dog. Uh, in fact, he is a Rhodesian Ridgeback, but he is close enough in his stature, in his coloring, um, and the way that his, his tail looks as well, uh, pretty much everything other than the face, um, to a Carolina dog. Uh, Carolina dogs would have been a little bit shorter on average. Uh, they are, their ears are a little more pointed and they would have had a slightly shorter muzzle to them as well. Uh, the dog in Powhatan society would have been viewed in two ways. Uh, they are a companion either way that you look at it. They would have been viewed as a pet, um, held just like we hold dogs as pets today and they would have also been used as hunting dogs. Hunting, in some cases, deer and larger game, but mostly turkeys and other smaller game like squirrels and rabbits and such. Uh, when you look at the English descriptions of the uh, dogs here in the region historically, as well as looking at the archeology span and the oral history from our communities in the region, you see a little bit of a kind of debate between the two. Um, English descriptions talk about the Carolina dog and the dogs here in the region, just in general, being more wolf-like in appearance and that they do not bark, that they only howl. They use that as kind of a point to argue towards being more wolf-like. Um, and some historians agree and hold that point. Um, whereas when you look at the archeology span and the oral history from our communities here in this region, and up and down the East Coast, just more broadly, you see that the dog is a companion both in life and death. You see that the uh, Carolina dogs, based on archeology, span uh, they are being buried just as we would bury our pets today. Um, not something that you would likely do for a not fully domesticated animal or one that isn't being viewed as a pet. Uh, you also see that genetically speaking and morphologically speaking, Carolina dogs are very similar to dogs today, which are genetically not related to wolves here in the Americas like the English suggest and some historians. We see one of the largest burials and burial sites for dogs in the entire globe is about 30 miles upriver from where we are here at the museum at a site called Wyanoke Old Town. Wyanoke Old Town has over a hundred dog burials and while many of them are buried on their own, quite a few of them are buried as well with people. Uh, one very major one at the site is a dog curled up and buried at the base of an elderly woman's feet. So you do see a very close connection there in terms of a companion both in life and in death. As we come towards the close of the video, um, just a couple of more kind of facts or points to make about the Carolina dog and dogs here in the region. Uh, there is a painting from a little bit further south of us. It's one of our only actual drawings of a dog here in this region from the time period. Uh, it comes from the town of Pomioc down in North Carolina. Uh, it's a John White painting and that painting shows a dog right there in the front of town. That dog, as you're seeing on the screen now, looks almost identical to the Carolina dogs of today. Speaking of those Carolina dogs, they are still here. Um, Carolina dogs are one of the hundreds of breeds that would have been here in the Americas, and they are 
luckily, at least in some ways, one of the only breeds that is still here and has not gone out of existence post-European arrival, both in terms of people and European dogs. Uh, but they are also one of the only ones that has then remained unchanged. Uh, they are virtually the same now as they seem to have been historically. Again, by English accounts, uh, paintings, um, and by archaeology that we see for those dogs in the burials. Last two things that I'd like to cover. There is, in William Strachey's word list, uh, there are a lot of typos in that word list, so it is possible that this next thing I'm going to cover is a typo, uh, but the word for hominy is recorded earlier in the book as apohomens. And at a later part in that book and in that word list, the word puppy is recorded, and the word that it is recorded as in Powhatan Algonquin is apohomens. Again, there are many typos. Is it possible that that's a typo? Absolutely. Uh, in fact, it might be the more likely one. Is it also possible that just like people name their dogs today, that that was the name of that dog and that puppy? Also very likely. It's just conjecture, but it's just a fun little tidbit that we found while searching through the word list. And then the other thing, pretty early on, when the English arrive here in the Americas, you already see English dogs coming in contact with Powhatan and um, American breed dogs uh, here throughout the Southeast and then later other parts of North and South America. Um, they, uh, English actually gift a white greyhound to Chief Powhatan or Wahan Seneca, the Mamanatoic of the chiefdom. Uh, John Smith gifts that dog to him pretty early on in their first meeting with each other one-on-one -on -one and personally. Um, and you see mentions to that white greyhound even 10 years down the road um, mentioning that dog and um, coming up in conversation by other individuals from the communities. Thank you for watching our video on Powhatan dogs. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Now, enjoy a couple of moments of footage from our friend Moose. What? Where are they, boy? Where's the bear? Where, boy? It's your period. Give me this dog. Give me this dog. Oh my goodness, it's like a little baby.